have to say one of the most stunning lies came from State Senator Maka Dingra, and I would note that she wants to be the Attorney General. I, I, for one, don't want an Attorney General who can lie with ease to the people of Washington State. This segment is sponsored by Eastside Weight Loss Clinic. Schedule your free 15-minute phone consultation at eastsideweightlossclinic.com. Some patients, like me, lose 20 to 30 pounds in a month or two. I want you to listen to what she said would happen to the state of Washington if these initiatives somehow become law. The state of Washington is at risk with these initiatives, and we will be taken backwards by decades on the great policy um, that we have actually made such great improvements on. We will be taken back decades. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. And I'll tell you why, with each of these initiatives, nothing that these initiatives seek to do or repeal reflect taking Washington State back decades. Initiative 2113, it would scale back the police pursuit restrictions that took effect in July of 2021. So just a couple of years ago, is that taking us back decades? No. Initiative 2017, it would repeal the carbon, pr carbon pricing system that only started collecting revenue one year ago. You haven't even figured out how you're gonna spend that money yet. How can it be taking us back decades if you lose it? Initiative 2124, it would make the long-term care tax optional for those who want to invest in the program. A program that hasn't even been fully implemented yet because you just started taking money out of people's paychecks in July. So how could it be taking us back decades if we make a program optional that hasn't even fully took effect yet? Initiative 2109 would repeal the capital gains tax which only started collecting revenue last year. How does it take us back decades if we reverse a tax that only started collecting revenue last year? And again, revenue that you don't even fully know how you're gonna spend yet. Initiative 2111, it would further protect us against the possibility of a state income tax or an income tax at the municipal or county level, which right now isn't even a thing in Washington state. So how would passing that take us back decades? And finally, Initiative 2081, it designate, designates parents as the primary stakeholder in their child's life. It does not reverse any existing law in Washington state. It seeks to impact future laws in Washington state. How does that take us back decades? It doesn't, that's a lie.